total solar eclipse now just 10 days away. Cities along the path of totality are preparing to become tourist hotspots. And our Gio Benitez is tracking all that eclipse tourism that's booming. I am so excited to be in that path of totality. And so are more than 4 million other people. They're expected to make the eclipse the heart of their spring getaway. Some even booking their trips a year in advance. But there are still ways to score a last minute eclipse adventure. Take a look. Across the country, a total eclipse takeover. We have folks coming from Japan and Tasmania, 11 European countries. With the stunning and rare celestial event a little over a week away, cities along the path of totality, now the biggest tourist hotspots in the U.S. Nearly 4 million visitors expected as far south as Texas, all the way north to Maine. Believe it or not, people have been booking hotels for 11 months now. Airlines have added special flights for the coverage. We've got all the gadgets hoping to um, be able to record some cool pictures. Wesley Myers and her family hitting the road for a 15 hour drive from Florida to Texas to take part. We wanted to go somewhere that had um, a decent amount of totality. We want to show the kids around Texas. So we thought it was great because they are having over four minutes. And Nazmus Nasir has been planning his trip for seven years. I don't know if there are words to describe the level of excitement I have. You know, having, you know, preparing for this for years, I knew the dates of the next five or six that are happening. I said, yep, I know exactly where we want to go. Priceline saying it has seen more than a 330% jump in flight searches for cities like Indianapolis, Cleveland, San Antonio, Buffalo, and Dallas compared to the same time last year. Those Eclipse weekend flights don't always come cheap. The average round trip ticket to Louisville runs about $1,200. Buffalo, about $1,000, and San Antonio, just under $900. Travel experts say there may still be time to snag a deal, particularly when it comes to hotels. You want to go to a secondary city, so don't try to go to Indianapolis, but travel to Bloomington or, or outside the major cities, because sometimes you'll still see hotel deals there. With all that travel, local economies are expected to reap the rewards. The state of Texas could pocket a record $428 million. And those smaller cities are still going big on Eclipse Mania, like Hillsborough, Texas, which is offering a weekend of events leading up to the main one. Locals say they've been preparing for two years to welcome crowds to Eclipseboro. We ordered 25,000 pairs of Eclipse glasses, and there was a moment when we started to think, maybe that's not enough, and so we ordered another 25,000 pair. There's really no shortage of ways to participate. Six Flags over Texas offering thrill seekers a chance to strap in for a solar coaster. And if you have your sea legs, Holland America offers an experience far away from the distractions offshore. By the way, there are some seats left on that Delta flight. This will be the last total solar eclipse until 2044, so it's really worth putting out all the stops there to see it with your eclipse glasses. Oh, yes. Of course, you want to do that. Um, how can you see it if you're not in the, <laughs> I can see nothing. That's the difference with these and sunglasses. But if you want to see it and you're not in the zone of total uh, darkness, is there a way for people to see it? So NASA actually says that 99% of the people in America will be able to see at least some of it. And that includes Alaska. It includes Hawaii as well. But take a look at this. It may be partial, but this animation shows you just how much you're going to see. So you'll be able to experience it either way. But again, you need to wear those glasses even for a partial eclipse like you're seeing right there. And you know where you can see the total eclipse right here on ABC Monday, April 8th with coverage starting on GMA. Then you can follow it live on Eclipse Across America beginning at 2 p.m. Eastern on ABC, ABC News Live, National Geographic Channel, and all of Disney's family of networks and social platforms. Exciting. Very exciting. Yes. And you'll be in the path of totality in Indianapolis, mm -hmm. Geo. Can't wait to see that. And these apparently, they double as a headband. So you still have something <laughs> to use them for after the eclipse.